Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the domain and range of a set in points. Now, remember, when we're, when we're looking at coordinate points, um, you know, basically on coordinate points, most likely we're looking at them as terms of x and y's, where the first coordinate is always going to be your x coordinate, and the last coordinate is always going to be your y coordinate. So when we're looking into identifying the domain and range, we need to kind of remember what exactly is the domain and range again. The domain is the set of all x values of your function, OK? Um, it could also be a lot of times we rewrite, we also think of x values as your input values. So a lot of times you'll see input instead of x values. But when you're looking at coordinate points, we're thinking x and y, right? So the domain is the set of all x values. So basically what I'm going to do is just go and pick out all of my x's. And then I'm just going to say domain. And I'm going to use a set notation and just do negative 2, 5, negative 7, and 1. Then the range. If the domain is a set of all x values, the range is going to be the set of all y values. So again, I'm going to use a um, set notation. So I'll do 4, 6, negative 8, and 1. And really, ladies and gentlemen, this is really as basic as that, unless you have something that's not a function. Um, so we'll go through that here in just a second as well. So let's go ahead and write these down. 3, 6, 1, 1 fourth. Again, fractions are OK. Um, 1 half to 1 half and 1 third. Now, you see that my range has 1 half twice, right? Now, remember, your range, you can have multiple range. You can have multiple values um, in the range, or you can have different inputs going to the same range value. So that's fine. We don't need to write, and it can still be a function. We don't need to write it twice, though. So I'm just going to write 1 third here and then write it back in my, so, in my set notation. In this case here, I go to start writing your, my domain, and I kind of come up to an issue. Because when I write my domain, I have 7, 0, 8, and 7. And if you remember, the definition of a domain, or I'm sorry, a function, is that every single input uniquely maps to one output. So I have two different inputs, and they both go to different outputs. So therefore, this is not a function. It's not going to have a range, or uh, uh, not a domain range. So it's not a function. So when you're looking at this, identifying the domain range, it's, a, it's OK to have multiple values in the range as long as your domain does not have different values going to, as long as your domain does not have different values or the same value going to different values. So you can have, double in the, you can have, you can have multiples in range. You cannot have multiples in the domain if they're going to different values. Then let's go and get to the last one here. This one, the domain, again, set of all x values. So that's going to be 8, negative 6, oops, 3, 1 half. And the range is going to be 11, 1 half, 104. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you identify the domain and range when given a set of points. Thanks.